Hi guys, welcome to Essie Cooks. Thank you so much for being here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these crispy air fryer fingerling potatoes. So if you haven't tried fingerling potatoes before, you are gonna be pleasantly surprised. You don't have to peel them, you don't have to remove the skin. The skin is actually like one of the best parts about them. I'm somebody who will even eat the skin off of a sweet potato, so I might be the wrong person to ask, but don't worry, we're gonna show you a taste test at the end of someone who doesn't normally love potato skin that's gonna try them out, so stay tuned for that. And I'm gonna show you how fast and easy it is to make this delicious side dish in the air fryer. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to make this. So the first thing we're gonna need is 1.5 pounds, roughly, of our fingerling potatoes. So just a small bag this size is, it says 680 grams, that's about 1.1 pounds. Now, you want to wash and dry your little fingerling potatoes before you get started cutting them. Make sure they're nice and clean. Now we're gonna cut them in half lengthwise just because they are great like this for dipping. So some of them are, you know, more oval shaped like this, and some of them have a little hook on the end like this. So you'll get a variety of different shapes shapes when you buy them and that's okay just be careful with your fingers as you're cutting those ones especially the ones that are curved so I'm going to go ahead and cut those all in half don't worry if they're not all exactly the same size we're going to add those all into a medium mixing bowl now we're going to dress them up with some dried spices and some olive oil so we've got a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil we've got two teaspoons of Italian spice blend that adds a lot of flavor to these We've got a teaspoon of garlic powder and then you can add hot chili powder or cayenne powder if you want it to be a little spicy. I wanted to add a little spice to mine and then I'm going to add one to two tablespoons of nutritional yeast or you could add a vegan parm on there and a little salt and pepper to taste. It always tastes really good to have salty and peppery potatoes, especially when you're frying them up in the air fryer like we're doing. Now we wanna mix this all around so that all the spices are super evenly coated on the potato pieces. Once we have them all mixed up, we're going to add them into the air fryer basket. So I've got my basket here. You can spray it with a little bit of oil, but honestly, I don't even need to because these already have some olive oil on them and that's enough. They won't stick because they already have some oil on them, at least in my case here. Now we want to spread those potatoes out nice and evenly on the air fryer basket um, just so that they're going to cook evenly. And we're going to add them into the air fryer at 390 degrees. These cook up pretty quickly, which I love it's a great fast easy appetizer or a side dish now we want to cook them for 12 to 15 minutes but I'm going to flip halfway which means I'm just going to set my first timer for six minutes at the six minute mark you can start seeing they are starting to brown up pretty nicely I'm going to give those a really good shake you could stir them I just find it faster and easier to <laughs> shake them up and put them back in back in at 390 degrees for another six minutes I'm going to give those another six minutes and then check and see where they're at. I like to start with 12 minutes and just see because I can always put them back in for a few more minutes. I don't want to burn them. So you can see that one's beautifully crisp up there, nicely browned. But you can see a few of the other potato pieces here like this one. It needs a little bit more time, like another couple of minutes just to brown them up and crisp them up a little bit more. Now they are edible at this point. It's just I want them to be a little bit more crispy. So I'm going to put them back in for another two to three minutes and it's been about 15 minutes total and they are perfectly crispy perfectly exactly how I want them and I'm going to serve them up with a side of vegan ranch dipping sauce you can serve them with any dipping sauce you like and we are just about to get into the taste test and see how they are we are tasting these our fingerling potatoes which I don't know if you've had before I know you're not a big fan of potato skins but let me know what you think of these <laughs> Not like sweet potato skins, right? Those are nice. <laughs> the skins are supposed to be super nice and sweet. Mm. Oh, somebody else is here for the taste test. Come on over, Meeks. Mmm, mm. so good. This is with my homemade vegan ranch dip, which I'll attach the recipe. You guys can check that out. These are so delicious. These are going to be gone in two seconds. Okay, loving this recipe. Oh, they're spicy. Don't give her one. Oh. Sorry, Mika. We'll give you something else. We'll get you your dog. Did you chew it? Mmm, <laughs> really good. We are gonna demolish this plate. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for spending time with me. 
If you guys like this video, just make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below so we can do more recipes like this. And if you have any questions at all or any comments, please let me know in the comments below.